Welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're down here in the Weapons Testing Department, where last time we discovered this turret over here. What a nasty piece of work. And thinking on it, the uh, IFF system had already been disabled, so it was already sitting there, just programmed to blow anyone who walked in front of it away. That's kind of ominous. I just realized there's a uh, fucking A, man. There's like an early 2000s Nokia duct taped to the side of it. I got the lights back in here on so I can uh, take a better look at it without this on. Yeah, that's a low poly cell phone right there. Why is there so much tape on it? It really looks like something that was jury rigged. Is it jury rigged or jerry rigged? I'm never quite clear on that. We're down here to, uh, locate Mitchell Dougherty's office, get our hands on his computer, and apparently descend even fucking deeper into this place. Oh, I did want to, uh, read out a comment first, didn't I? Uh... Shout out to Clunk279, who says, on the topic of stealth games, it came to me that a game based on the Ranger's Apprentice books would be rad. And, uh... I had never heard of that, I'll cop to that. Uh, turns out they were Australian, so uh, that's probably not the most surprising thing in the world. But, you know, I looked into it, and the, the summary that was given by Wikipedia is, The series follows the adventures of Will, an orphan, who is chosen as an apprentice ranger, one of the skilled trackers, archers, and warriors in the services of the King of Araluen. Will strives to keep the kingdom of Araluen safe from invaders, traitors, and other threats. He is joined on his adventures by his mentor, Halt, and his best friend, Horus. So, okay, medieval fantasy stealth, that could be interesting. They kinda got into that with uh, Thief, but uh, I felt like that was more focused on like the, the, the weird magic and uh, like steampunk stuff. So, by all means... Oh, I guess we're going up again. I love the idea of walking out into this hallway. Oh, no. I just sent you Doherty's file. He's in information retrieval, Office 508. What do I do with Doherty? Stay out of his way for now. We'll get back to you when we find more on him. Dude, I can't knock out? I thought that was funny. I was like, really hesitant to leave the elevator, and then I hit a loading screen, and it teleported me out in the middle of the corridor in front of it. Like, I have been moved all of four feet. Mitchell Doherty's office number is 508. Tap Doherty's computer to trace the intelligent leak, intel intelligence leak to the Georgians. It's a spy setting, so I am wondering if this is actually the CIA, not the CIA, the, uh, the NSA pinning it on the CIA and using third echelon to do it. All right. Media room is a strange thing to see there. Are those real to reels? Or are those giant speakers? Well, I guess we're about to find out. I found traces of the media in a secure data forwarding service in Holloway. Bangkok, Green Canada. Any order? Nope. Take it back. Turn up the volume. The foolish, avarice, arrogance of a nation that still believes there is such a thing as a world superpower. Take it back to Belize? What? The chainsaw? A nation that still believes there is. No, it's like a moaning in the background. <laughs> that still believes there is. Hear that? <laughs> that still believes. I don't hear it. Still believe it's right there. A cow, maybe. 
still believe. I honestly don't hear it. I, I think there's a chain wrapping around the foolish aberrant. Let me check this with the media feed. All right, I'll be here. No. Oh. No, there's a second door. Or piece just standing in the corner. Okay. Eight. Manual save. All right. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, I've confirmed that he is a warm-blooded entity. How the fuck am I meant to? Oh. God. Oh God. Hello. No, no, that didn't go. Oh. Shit. Well, I did just hear that long ass conversation, so let's just load that. I guess I ran too close to the other guy. Fuck, how am I gonna get under the thing? Uh, I don't have those immediate shockers. Huh. I don't have much use for the sticky camera in such a linear setting, but. I do have a thought there. Uh, there was a comment. Ah, shout out to Duffelfish, who says, One thing that isn't mentioned about the sticky cam is the amount of force it exerts when applied to the enemy's forehead. Though I must admit this game has some quite comprehensive physics for a game from 2002, except for that one guy who walked out a window and survived. Huh, yeah. Ah, someone mentioned that, knocking dudes out with a sticky cam. That didn't really mean anything to me at the time. I can't remember who that was, so my apologies. Unless it was also a duffelfish. Um, and while I'm looking at this, shout out to Justin Jones. Says, hey, you remember when I mentioned a couple of Let's Play series ago? That whenever you call something to my attention and I would look over at the screen like you were talking to me in person? Yeah, I'm still doing that. I hope it amuses you as much as it still amuses me. Uh, I do like that. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh... So I can only move at my slowest speed. What was that? Asian reporting on-site hostility! Well, that didn't work. What happened? I guess I had to be standing closer. Well, it's funny there is I couldn't actually tell what happened since the second I fired, the camera switched to the angle from the sticky camera, so it was just a blur of flying through the air and then sitting on the ground next to that guy's feet. I don't know if it hit him and bounced off or what? Standing over there, just walking in random directions. What was that? No, no, it's not working. Fuck! I keep forgetting that. Okay, you know what? This time I am going to quick save on the other side of this because of the habit I have gotten myself into. Okay, I was getting fancy there. in there, so I'm going to move him, because that guy does not turn around. He 
He's got a Nokia-style phone on his uh, belt. I like that. It's a good thing he didn't throw that at me. It would have killed me. <laughs> Those goddamn things were indestructible. Your friend needs medical attention. I'll escort you to him. Oh no, it's contagious. I'm out of here. I find it kind of annoying, by the way, how the guards can always tell when it's my footsteps as opposed to someone else's. So all the, they'll hear a footstep uh, through a wall or something. Like, what was that? As opposed to like any of the other goddamn footsteps they can hear. Oh. Oh. Oh God! This would have been gr oh, man. I think this is the trick here. Just slip through here, go around the back, and wait for him to be this guy to be in a good position so you can just slip out and grab him. What? I'm gonna load the game, the, uh, the the manual game, to see if I can actually pull that idea off. That's way cooler than what I did. I just use good old-fashioned timing. Or will this guy see me if I go through this little lighted bit here? I can still hit the uh, quick save. No, we're good. They designed this for me not to be seen. I realized you could actually go through this. That was the trick. Oh, there you are. No! There doesn't seem to be any pattern to his movement. He's just anxious. This ballsy. Just carrying him back the same way. entirely to show off. I'll just circle around and get the other guy instead of just doing, you know, just walking up behind him. <laughs> I feel pretty good about this. I guess it suddenly occurred to me, oh, this is something the developers specifically put in to allow you to do a clever thing here. What the fuck am I to say no? Much cooler. There you go. Where do I can't get into that guy's computer? Or any of this stuff, really. All these cameras, man. Wonder if the three. No, I haven't shot any this time. That's right, I didn't even start with a gun. So why are three of them just static? That's concerning. Oh, good, a cubicle farm. Hmm. 
I can feel the despair. That sloppy looking guy has to be Dowerty. Would you look at that? Room 508. I wonder how difficult it is to make a game rain outside but not inside. I ask that only because I played a bunch of open world games. Where, uh. You know, I'll be out and about and it'll start raining. And, uh, I'll see that the water passes through, like, trees and overhanging rocks and stuff. And use these dispo one of these disposable picks just because I can. I feel like we're closing in at the end of the level here. It just kind of makes a little second a second long flare of fire over the doorknob. And then it's unlocked. guy's stuff first. What are these? Ah! Picture of Dougherty. What do you know? He's kind of a schlub. Subject case file uploaded. Halloween 04. Source Grimm's daughter's name Mitchell D. Dougherty, a.k.a. Nun. This isn't even the one I just picked up. I totally missed this. Uh, subject case file uploaded 3110.04. Source Grimm's daughter, name Mitchell D. Dougherty, AKA none. Date of birth, uh, May 12th, 1959. Citizenship American, AO Langley, Virginia. Associations, CIA, operation, or occupation rather. Information retrieval technician. Relevant history, 040697. Employment secured to the CIA. 050501, involved in 12 step program, letting go of the small stuff at the YMCA. Jeez, I can't remember the last time anyone referenced the YMCA. Like, the organization, and not just the song. Uh, 021002, ticketed for recklessly slow driving in Chevrolet, uh... Maryland? Sorry, I don't know which state off the top of my head is MD. Probably Maryland. Uh, 31104, suspicions of treason relating to the Georgian information crisis. 3110.04, Echelon search initiated, results pending. Why is that all written in all caps? Is Echelon in all caps different from third Echelon in normal lettering? Hmm. Results pending. Notes, anal retentive mouth breather. I'd hate to be stuck in an elevator with him. Author, Grimm's daughter. Oh, uh, no, I thought Junior Wilkes wrote that one. I just realized I didn't actually read the other uh, data stick I found. So here's both of those ones just there. From David Tannehill to Jonathan Sutton. Sent uh, October 27th, 2004 at 9. Subject, re. There's nothing written there. Jonathan, it's all in caps. Jonathan Sutton. Attached you will find two images captured from the security system at the 4th Precinct Police Station in Tbilisi, Georgia. These images so show the corpses of Agent William Robert Blaustein and Agent Allison Madison, dated October 16th, 2004. Use this information at your discretion, then destroy this message and do not attempt to trace it. It dot ATT. Oh, it, attention, file, and then a long string of numbers, file, and then a long string of numbers with the last one changed to a two. So someone just leaked that to them. They didn't say anything. No, that was... When was that sent? Days ago. And the NSA didn't know for sure that they were even dead when we got there. From David Tannehill to Jonathan Sutton sent October 25th, 2004. 956. Subject, respond and destroy 2. Mr. Sutton. Sorry it took me so long to respond. I'm having some digital signature trouble on this end, presume probably unavoidable with a step up in encryption protocols. I had bet a dollar to a dime Thomas Gurganidze was in the warehouse fire, which would mean, surprise, surprise, we'll never see that corpse. 
He could possibly have been one of six nameless drunks arrested October 16th, especially considering that only four were released the next morning. No attempt was made to even account for the other two. But my bet is on the warehouse fire. D, D. Tannehill. That's very strange. But that's actually, I think, the sound of the Right, better uh, make use of this stuff then. Just trying to see if Dowerty's coming back. That would suck. Looks like he's talking to a guy down the hall, or at least two guys are, so we're gonna go in here. Huh. That's weird. Is that George W. Bush? Hmm. Doesn't quite look like him, but... Doesn't make any sense, given that they made up a fictional president for this game. Great work, Fisher. How are we doing, Grim? Working on it. Very clever back door. Looks like Philip Mass's work. Bouncing to a server. Cert Kalina underscore VA. Which is the Kalinatech building in... Oh, black hell, somebody spotted me. I shut down. We'll call back. Fisher, we're gonna need you to bag Doherty. What happened with Grim's daughter? We'll worry about that. You worry about Doherty. Wait for him to take a smoke break. It'll make grabbing him easier. Details on your offset. Kidnap Mitchell Doherty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This really is a black op. Mitchell Doherty smokes on average two packs of cigarettes a day. Extraction will be simpler if Doherty is taken to the smoking courtyard. But we know that there are no smoking courtyards. The announcement earlier said that you can only smoke now on the, uh, balconies. The Georgians are monitoring Doherty's PC from the Kalina Tech building in downtown Langley. Did you get any new data from that? No. But that's okay. So if he walked off to take a smoke break, he won't be back for a while. But also, those two guys at the end of the corridor aren't him. One of them is gone. Awesome. Actually, bet if I'd gone over there, I could hear some stuff. But you know, whatever. We got important to uh, intel this way, too. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell. We've gotten our answers. Mitchell Doherty is our man. Now we just need to bag him. How very ominous. <laughs> Never been involved in this sort of operation in a video game before. Plenty of murders, yet very few kidnappings. <laughs> Certainly not on behalf of a government. Ah, well... Best not to think about it. Really. Uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Until then, have yourselves a great day. Later!